So my name is Logan Wallen. I spent 30 hours using Farmington's internship program. I spent 30 hours at St. Joe Manor in uh, Bon Terre. It is a residential home. It's a residential care facility for elderly people or people that, you know, have either mental problems or they can't take care of themselves on their own. So it's a place where nurses, CNAs, doctors basically watch over these patients and they live there full time. So they spend every day there, they can take their, they have public transportation so they can leave. Um, but basically, I spent 30 hours here shadowing a few different kinds of nurses um, just to see how, you know, how that sort of career job would look like. Because I want to do something in the medical field. And uh, what I did was the first day I went in there and I was with a nurse practitioner. And what she basically did was she did her rounds. She did multiple rounds. Basically, she had a list of 30 or so patients and she went and checked up on them. And basically asked them if they needed anything. It was pretty straightforward um, because these were not sickly. They, they were just normal patients. And she basically went around just to talk to them and make sure everything was going okay. And there was several patients in the dementia hall. So they're, you know, I can't, I can't the reason I'm making this here is because I can't really take, the, with confidentiality and such, I cannot bring cameras inside of there. Um... But we went through the dementia hall. There was a lot of people walking around doing their thing. They're getting their food. And it's, it's just like a home. They just live there. But she went through. She did her rounds. Basically talked to a Muslim. Said they were just fine. And we moved on. Uh, that took about an hour, an hour and a half. After that, we went. And she showed me how to do it. What we did was called soap notes. And basically went through the process of outlining uh, basically all these patients. Uh, and just their note and most of it was simple because they were fine there was nothing wrong with them and so all it was basically shown was you know their name allergies all that stuff can't really get into specifics because confidentiality um and the second day i went there i went in there with and worked with a wound nurse and that was absolutely disgusting we went through 30 40 patients with these these pressure wounds these from neg negligence with the nurses not moving them, all the all the patients in there that, that can't move themselves are supposed to be moved every couple hours so they don't develop these pressure wounds from laying in the same spot so long. And almost every single one of these patients, not all, but almost every single one of these patients that we went through and I watched them as they dressed the wounds and took care of them. And most of them were these dead holes. Just it was It was absolutely terrible to see. But what the wound nurse basically did was go in, she would measure um, the circumference and the, the, the depth of these wounds to see if the, whether they're healing or whether they're getting worse, and then treat it with iodine to, as a antibacterial, and then pack it with gauze, mostly. But there was also some other patients with different hematomas and different things like that, or, you know, falling and hitting their head because they have some of them have trouble walking and whatnot um but i mean some of the more eventful things that happened some some patients just died <laughs> you know it's terrible i hate to see it it's it was definitely I, personally with my career it, it definitely opens it definitely opens my eyes to the fact that i never want to work in any situation with old people where people are just dying left and right they can't take care of themselves they're being changed like it is not a fun place to work and personally with my career it basically opens up the fact that i never want to do anything like that so that's basically wrapped up i went a few more days we again did more rounds i did not deal with the wound nurse anymore i was fed up with that um there was one day we basically came in to see the doctor and they just got their medication their shots and whatnot but other than that it was pretty simple and pretty not cool, honestly.